slouches a little bit. Yeah, he was the one volunteer. No, I was telling you, I needed a volunteer to hold that. And I go, you know, a, a play employee gets volunteers. Testing, testing. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing today? You guys ready to see a giraffe paint? Yeah. Me too. Paint, Ozzy. Pretty cool. My name is John. My partner over here, his name is Cameron. And this fellow behind me is known by a lot of names. He's known as the Van Gogh of the Veld. He is also known as Las Vegas' first and only giraffic artist. His name is Ozzy. Now today we're kind of doing a tie-dye thing here a little bit. We got some new paints and dyes and stuff that we're trying on the t-shirts. And Ozzy's been doing pretty well with it, so we're going to keep that going today. This looks like kind of a lime Kool-Aid right here. Come on, Oz. What are you going to do with this, buddy? Yeah, it, yeah, probably will. Very nice. Good boy, Oz. Good boy. Now, did you guys know that giraffes were six feet tall the day they were born? When Ozzy came to us at about seven, eight months of age, he was already eight feet tall. So we saw a second ago how tall we think he is. Ozzy, again, how tall are you? There he goes. He goes right up there to show us. I'd say he's probably pretty close to 16 feet tall right about now. And still growing. When he's done, he'll probably be pretty close to 18 feet tall. He is a reticulated giraffe, which is one of the larger giraffes. And giraffes are the tallest mammals on land. There we go. One of the reasons why we have a, a rope on the end of this is so Ozzy doesn't take off with it. He's been known to collect do some interior work in his house. Right off. Now we taught him how to paint because he needs something to do with his time. Did you guys know giraffes only sleep like a half hour to an hour a day? They don't even do it all at once. They do it in five and ten minute naps. So if you ever go to a place and you see a, a giraffe, it looks like the lights are on and nobody's home, chances are it's probably taking a nap. Now in the wild they do not lay down. They lay down, the lions will get them. Now, Ozzy occasionally lay down in his barn here, and it takes him at least 10 minutes to get back to his feet. That's why it would be dangerous. So in the wild, he sleeps standing up with his eyes wide open. Now, a giraffe Ozzy size can defend himself very well. So in the wild, about the only time he would be vulnerable to lion attacks is when he is drinking water, because he has to splay his legs wide apart in order to get down low enough to get the water and the lions could mob him at that point. He also could fall prey to crocodile attack. So the two main predators for a giraffe is lions and crocodiles. Of course, besides man, we, we figure in there somewhere as well. So you're probably wondering, how does Ozzy feel about living at a facility that has 31 lions on property? Think he's outnumbered? He doesn't, he says he's bigger than they are. He, when he's full grown, he'll be 3,000 plus pounds, and the largest lion we have here is 600 pounds, and he's a very large lion. So Ozzy can kick in any direction and run at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. Pretty fast. Could you imagine something 3,000 pounds coming at you at 37 miles per hour that wasn't a car? Has anyone out there ever had an animal do that to him? Cameron did this morning. He thought we locked him up. You know how fast Cameron ran? 38 miles per hour. He was motivated. Very nice. Very nice. Well, this is what we're doing is we're kind of doing a tie-dye thing here with the shirts here. I almost feel like we should be playing the Grateful Dead right about now. And it's coming out pretty good. Ozzy likes this blue color. Now, he does see in color. That allows him to tell what's available to eat and what's ripe and what is not. Did that again? It allows him to see the lions coming from a great distance away. So because of this height, he can see them moving. He can see the difference in color. Now, animals like zebras and antelope and gazelles watch the giraffe very closely. If he gets nervous or scared, they know the lions are coming. So the giraffes have the nickname of being the sentinels of the savannah. As we can hear, one of our lions is talking right now, and Ozzy's looking for it as well, so he's doing his little sentinel thing right there. He goes, there's lion movement out there, I gotta watch. 
And he's also hoping that Cameron will pu pull down the painting and he'll get a chance to do some face painting or hair streaking as well. There we go, Oz. Very nice. Now this is Cameron's very favorite part of the show. This is questions. I've already given you the information. If you know the answers, go ahead and shout it out. How tall was Ozzy when he was born? Six feet. Very nice. How tall was he when he got here? Eight feet. We were paying attention. How tall is he now? Yeah. Somewhere in that area, yeah. How tall can he get? 18. Very nice. How fast can he run? Yeah. How fast can Cameron run? <laughs> Which side of the giraffe has the most spots? Anyone? The outside. Ah, you guys fell for that one. That is Ozzy's absolute favorite joke. He collects draft jokes, by the way. So if you know one, come by and tell him. He had a young man about four years old come by and tell him a joke, and that joke was, uh, why did the giraffe see the optometrist? Because he was seeing spots. So that was his joke today. So Ozzy got a new one. Right, Oz? Now, Ozzy's not just a comedian and a famous artist. He also has a serious job in captivity. He is an ambassador for giraffes in the wild. They are having a very tough time right now. They're going through what is known as a silent extinction. So what do we mean by silent? Nobody knows it's happening. Everyone knows the plights of other animals, but the giraffes are being ignored, so to speak. In the last 20 years, some of their populations have been decimated by up to 80%. It's a huge number. Most of that's due to habitat destruction, but I gotta tell you, hunting and poaching plays a role in it. So Ozzy wants you guys to help him out. You guys want to help Ozzy out? Yeah? He wants you to pass the word along that the only appropriate way to shoot a giraffe is with a camera. That way they'll be around for many years to come. And I cannot imagine a world without these beautiful animals in it. So guys, how about a big round of applause for Ozzy? He's the star of the show. Ozzy, you're a big hit, buddy. Why don't you take a bow for us? Very nice. Good boy, Ozzy. Now, folks, if you'd like to see some of Ozzy's completed artwork, we do have it on display inside the gift shop. He not only does t-shirts, but he does paintings, scarves, hats, all sorts of neat things. We're going to have a bird chat along here in just a few minutes, probably along this front aisle here. Uh, someone will come out and tell you everything you ever wanted to know about a parrot and too afraid to ask. So we want to take this time to thank you guys for coming out today. You're a wonderful help and you're part of the program here today. And if you have any questions, ask. If we don't know the answer, we'll make something up for you. You guys have a good time. Thank you.